You know, I get questions from people all the time about getting a job. Um, you name it, the whole gamut. I've even created an online course of how to get a job in Hawaii. I have a blog post, 10 steps to a job in Hawaii. It's a big deal. Uh, this video, I'm gonna share a story of that really explains and makes it clear why you won't get a job in Hawaii unless you follow our steps. Aloha, I'm Peter Kay, and I connect with people that want to live in Hawaii. So if that's you, you wanna to subscribe to the channel and get the notifications. We make a video every other week. So the story I wanna share with you today is about my friend Scott, and he's lived here for decades, but he shared a great story. You know, I went, went for a job application at the Hilton Waikoloa Village when I moved over to the Big Island in 1999. Man, look at the view here. Hope you're enjoying this. Well, his first mistake is that he was clueless of local customs. In this case, the dress code. And I go into the room to turn in my application, you know, button down shirt. See, because now that he's lived there for 20 years, he knows that was his first mistake. Which is a little strange, especially for the Big Island Resort community. But back then, he's thinking, I got this. And there's some people in board shorts, slippers, and, uh, you know, t-shirt turning their application in, and, and I'm, you know, Straight, from, straight off the boat from the mainland, I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna get the job before these guys. Until he learns one of his first biggest lessons about Hawaii and getting jobs. And the, one of the guys goes up, oh, hey, Auntie Jane, you know, gives the application. She says, oh, hey, brother Kimo, how you been? You know, are oh, you looking so good nowadays? So what do you think? Will Scott with the tie get the job or will it go to the guy in the board shorts and the t-shirt? whose auntie is the HR director. And then I was didn't get a call for like a, a month and a half for, for the application. I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, well, if you guessed he wasn't gonna get the job, you guessed right. Which really brings us to the moral of the story. It doesn't matter, none of this stuff matters. It's who you know, not what you know over here and, and what you've done. It doesn't matter what you know in Hawaii. It matters who you know and what you've done. Now, if you've done any job hunting at all, you know that the network is important no matter where you're looking for a job. The best jobs go to those who have the best networks. Just like in this case, that auntie probably gave the job to her nephew. It's just that in Hawaii, those networks are more meaningful than ever. They mean more than they do, I would say, any place else, because that's all we've got. And therefore, if you don't have a local network, you are at a huge disadvantage, which is why when you apply for a job from the mainland, it's almost impossible to get the job. There's always exceptions, but it's almost impossible. Certainly, you will be at a huge disadvantage to someone who does have a local network. All right, got a question for me? Click on the link in the description. There's a form, fill out the form, Tell us your name and where you live so that we can give you credit on a video. I'm Peter Kay, and I am living in the land of Aloha. What a beautiful day today, where jobs are plentiful if you have the right network. Aloha.